Sun, a 4.5 billion year old. Yellow dwarf star, a hot glowing ball of hydrogen and helium. It's about 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers from Earth. It is the only star in our solar system. Without the sun's energy, life could not exist on our home planet. Approximately every 11 years, the sun goes from a low point in solar activity, known as solar minimum, to solar maximum and back again. It's not clear exactly why the sun's cycles last this long, but astronomers have noted the pattern ever since the first named solar cycle one, which occurred between 1755 and 1766. The current cycle, Solar Cycle 25, officially began in December 2019, according to NASA. So what causes our home star's fluctuation? It all comes down to the sun's magnetic field, said by Alex James, a solar physicist at University College London in the UK. At solar minimum, the sun's magnetic field is strong and organized, with two clear poles like a normal dipole magnet. The magnetic field acts as a giant force field that contains the sun's superheated plasma, or ionized gas, close to the surface, suppressing solar activity. But the magnetic field slowly gets tangled, with some regions becoming more magnetized than others. As a result, the sun's magnetic field gradually weakens, and solar activity begins to ramp up. Plasma rises from the star's surface and forms massive magnetized horseshoes, known as coronal loops, that pepper the sun's lower atmosphere. These fiery ribbons can then snap as the sun's magnetic field realigns, releasing bright flashes of light and radiation, known as solar flares. Sometimes, flares also bring enormous, magnetized clouds of fast-moving particles, known as coronal mass ejections. The sun emitted a strong solar flare on December 31, 2023. Solar flares are powerful bursts of energy. For the past eight months, activity on the sun has steadily increased. As the sun's solar cycle begins to hit its peak, more solar storms caused by flares will be likely, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. On August 5, a strong solar flare erupted from the sun's surface, but there weren't any resounding effects, per NASA. According to NASA, flares become dangerous when they bypass Earth's natural defenses, like its magnetic fields, and hit the surface of the planet. So, what happened if a solar flare hit Earth? When they reach our planet, not only paint the sky with breathtaking displays known as auroras, but can also interfere with modern technology. If a massive solar flare hit the Earth and we did not prepare for it, it would cause massive destruction to our radio communications, electric power grids, navigation signals, and pose risks to spacecraft and astronauts. These solar storms could have the potential to wipe out the internet unless, if a proper warning is given. So, the Sun, our life-giving star, holds fascinating secrets that continue to captivate astronomers and scientists alike. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more cosmic adventures. What other celestial mysteries would you like us to uncover in future videos? Share your thoughts in the comments below.